Hey there, Chad Bonger here for Ohio University Libraries. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find demographic information for people who buy organic and natural food. So, here you go. So, to find this information about people who eat uh, organic food and demographics about them, we're going to use a database called MediaMark Reporter. And this is available as part of MRI Plus, which is available uh, through the, the library website as a subscription. Um, when you first get here, you need to make sure you register for free to create an account with them. Use your Ohio email address. Um, I'm going to log in as me here, and it'll take me to a page. I'm going to ignore everything on this page here except for this link here to MediaMark Report. That's going to take us to a page here where we have to go and, and, and then choose a report volume. You see there's no search box yet until we click on the report volume. And now we have choose report, or we can search by keyword. I'm just going to go and search for organic and see what we get here. We see, um, this is kind of interesting, it's, they have a thing for health and BDAs, diet control, eating habits, buy food labeled as natural or organic. So that's pretty neat. You can see also, if you look at household products, who bought um, uh, organic eggs in the past um, uh, six months, things like that, organic yogurt. Um, it might be good though, since we found this particular area for health and BDAs, diet control, eating habits, buy food labeled as, I'm actually going to go back and do new database fall 2013 uh, product here, health and beauty aids, and then go back in and look at diet control here because we found that uh, through organic, uh, our search for organic there. And now we have all this information here for who buys fat free, who buys gluten free, high fiber, high protein, things like that. So we can look at different aspects of healthy foods or organic foods and things like that. Um, so it's a good way to, co to compare the information there. So what we can look at here is uh, um, information for, for um, who buys natural organic food. Um, and what you see here is you see the, what this, the way you read this is of men, there are 113 million men in the U.S., 7.2 million of them are projected to, um, to buy food labeled as natural organic, which is 6.3% of the population. Okay, and what this number here, the percent down, tells you is of those who bought health uh, or who bought um, food labels natural or organic, 33.5% of them are men. So that's the way you read that report there. Okay, you can also do some neat things here, and I'll show you how to add these to your reports so you can compare th uh, multiple things across the same spreadsheet. What you can do is actually click on Add Your Reports and it will tell you this has been added to your list. You close that, and let's say you also want to compare that against people who buy gluten-free stuff, and say add your reports. And we can close that, and we can go back and look at our view report list here, and then just get a spreadsheet for the, that content. So once your spreadsheet downloads, you'll have basically a quick way to compare multiple product, products, as many products as you really want to across the top here uh, with the variables on the left hand side here. So you see we do have like household income, we have things like if they have children, uh, uh, home value, race, all that kind of stuff that you can then use to compare to um, your local population. And the easiest way to do that is in um, using census data from the Census Quick Facts website or in many cases many uh, states will actually have their own uh, website where they list county profiles and county uh, demographic and and economic statistics and things like that, that you can use to compare with what you know about national trends for a product with MediaMark. Hopefully this video helped you. Should you need more help look for the contact link on the business blog. We're glad to help you any way I can. Take care and have a great day.